Okay, here we are. We've got the board set up. We've got the Vintera Telecaster. We've got the Victory DP40. And we've got the Marshall 2x12 in the other room with a SM57 on the bottom and a Sennheiser E906 on the top. And the first thing I want to show you is the difference between using the Empress input and output buffer together with the pedals in the loop and just using the output buffer. Now, if I just plug straight into the pedals and take the input buffer out of the chain, I find I get a lot more of the mid-range back um, and it's less sterile sounding. Feels more like I'm plugged straight into the front of the amp. Now that may be just because the top end's getting cut a little bit by not using that um, second buffer, um, but I really feel like it's doing something to the mid-range as well. And if I introduce a drive pedal, that difference is much more noticeable. So I'll put the Vemur Amp Shanks on. And now I'll plug in through the input buffer. One more time, we'll um, put it back to how I prefer it. Cool. Um, so let's have a little look at this um, little capacitance box here and hear the difference of removing some of that low end. So that's a fair bit there um, and I find it really clears up your overdrive sound and makes all the um, all the single notes pop out. So let's have a listen to that. Compared to all the way off. So it just really cleans things up. So I'm going to set it back halfway there. There is another notch there. Very cool. Okay, let's go through the pedals one by one. So the first thing we've got in line is the drop. Uh, I might put on the light speed for this one. Pop on the drop.
Okay, so you can see where that could come in handy. Um, you can play along to a bit of Stevie or Guns N' Roses, Metallica. There's plenty of people that tune down to E flat. Um, might also come in handy um, if your singer wants to try some um, some different keys as well, and you don't want to muck around trying to learn where to um, how to play the progressions differently on the neck. So the next thing in the chain is the Supro. Might just hear the Supro by itself because the Supro has gain in it as well. <laughs> Let's try that on the neck and bridge. Now it's a harmonic tremolo, so it sort of goes a bit into phaser territory, which I really, really love. Um, the next pedal on the board is the phase 90. Now, my favorite thing for the phase 90 is just um, a bit of this. Another thing it does really cool is if we turn the speed all the way down and we get some gain going again. So this is a Shanks. Just gives me a bit of subtle movement and for a riff like that I'd like to bring in the light speed and get a little bit more gain. So Flick down to the bridge pickup. Cool. Next one across, let's go back to a clean sound, is the micro chorus. So straight up as a chorus, um, really fantastic. It's just a real basic chorus, which is what I like. I um, might go back onto the neck and bridge. And it actually has a little bit of a uh, flangery tone to it. Um, if we try that, that riff we were mucking around with a second ago. Bit of drive again, back on the bridge pickup. Just a little bit of a flangery quality going on there. If you turn it all the way up, um, you can get that black hole sun rotary sort of thing going. So yeah, really handy um, pedal there. You've got a couple of different options. Um, so next thing as we've heard is the light speed. Just takes me from a nice, go back to the neck and middle, nice light. A nice clean sound to a nice light crunch sound.
then if we bring in the, sh the shanks. <laughs> Then if I want to back it off a little bit, I can either turn off the light speed and stop pushing the shanks or turn off the shanks and go back to the light speed. So I've heard the light speed. Let's hear going from both of them. Just to the shanks. Just the light speed. So the BB is my Marshall-esque pedal. Um, it's really cool uh, by itself, but I love running the light speed into it. So let's have a listen to it by itself first. <laughs> And with the light speed. Real cool, and of course you can run the shanks into it instead. So the last pedal in the drive chain is a JHS Marfa letter. Um, we all know what that's for. It also has a second, well it's got about five modes on it, but the second mode I like is a triangle muff, that was the ram's head we just heard. <laughs> So the drop has a little hidden trick up its sleeve that's a high and low octave, sounds a little something like this. But if I turn the muff on, we get uh, complete mayhem. So the JHS boost pedal uh, is next in the chain. Um, this is an amazing solo boost. Uh, so let's go for our Marshall-esque tone. Yeah. 
Now if we turn on the haunting mids, um, you'll hear that fill right out. Now we can sweep those mids, we can get it a bit lower. I might even boost them a bit more so you can hear it easier. Okay, so the delay pedals. Um, I've got an analog delay, which I use for a short delay, into a digital long delay. Um, so the Panther Cub here um, actually has a volume boost on it, which is really nice. Um, just for my core sound, this is pretty much always on, which is driving the front end of the amp a little bit. So here it is with it off. And with it on. So it's driving the front a little bit harder, um, and as you can hear, we've got that short delay. Turn it off. Back on. Uh, if we're doing a lead, we'd have the haunting mids. Got our uh, long delay. So the only thing left to do is to just rejig the input um, of the board so that I can get my guitar lead coming back in from the side of the board rather than hanging over the top here like this. Um, Voodoo Labs sell a great little patch bay, two-way patch bay um, called the Dingus that's going to mount underneath here right next to the Empress. So that'll work out really well. Um, so I'll have to order one of them in through Eastgate Music. And that's pretty much it. Um, I'm really happy with it. I had great fun doing it. I hope you guys had uh, great fun watching the whole process. And if you liked it, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And we'll catch you on the next one. Ciao for now.